Walking up on Mr. Babcock here. What's your pinpoint in there? Let's see what he's got, guys. Let's see what he's extracting. Mr. Babcock. Let's do it live. We don't know. It might be something yumtastic. Yummy, yummy, tastic. Gonna do a little live dig here. It was getting a solid 80, 81. Probably a copper penny, but why not live dig for fun, you know? Alright. Shouldn't be very deep. There it is. Huh. That's going to be the second wheat penny. It's the second 1944. I see the back of an Indian head. We have a shield on the top here. Let's see if I can get a year. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I love Indian head pennies. What's the year on this bad boy? Doing a one handed rub because I'm filming. Let's see if I can get the, the year part. It's going to be an 1880 something. Come on, baby. Well, I can't tell right now, but she's a beautiful Indian head penny, as you can see. We'll be back. That's this is literally like five minutes after I've dug both of those wheat pennies. I've only been here for like five or six minutes. This is this is incredible. Wow. I love NC Dirt Detectives. All right, we got one dime. Be careful. Let's put some light on it. It's a Barbie. Yeah, Barbie. It's beautiful. Get the thing in the light. 1902. Heck yeah. 1902 Barbie. Shiny. Hell yeah. Nice. Shiny on the day. AT Pro. Let's hope nice. for a silver dime here. It's definitely a coin. Hope we don't get a clad dime. Oh man, I got another, I got another safety pin in my shoe. Yeah. Well, oh, it's a penny. A oh, kind of penny. Let's say it looks. That's cool. a dime. Clad it's a dime. clad dime. Oh my god. Hey, okay. better than our day. Okay. Oh, Vic's still out there in the field, way out there. Uh, this is all our trash for the day. Me and Josh, Archie threw his trash already in his bucket in the car. Start with Archie here. He had a nice D-Day. He got this nice uh, keyhole cover, it looks like. Yep. A scooch on. Some nice D's. With a little loop on it. Though. Yeah, this okay. one's this one's got a cool little loop-de-loop. -loop. He got a nice harmonica reed. He got, this is a weedy? No, it's Oh, that's a little flat buddy. Flat button. Maybe a bale seal there. Punk of lead. This thing here, we're almost certain it's silver. It's got a woman's face on it and you see her hair like a piece of a handle of a brush or a mirror or some kind of vanity piece or something. That's nice. Move on to Mr. McGlam here. He got his first Model T valve stem cover. This little looks like a hammer to a toy gun. That's exactly what it is. Some clad. Got this nice brush handle or mirror handle. We're almost certain this is silver as well. He's going to test it when he gets home. Nice piece there. He got a barrel tap. Nice big hunk of brass. Some clock parts, full harmonica reed, a nice uh, reed off an organ of some kind here. You got an 1898? 1889. 89 Indian. Cool little charm here with like a saint image on it. Looks like a graduation with the Indian. Four wheats. Mm -hmm. This little, uh, it looks like an aluminum or lead 
Glasper of some like kind. Some, yeah, some kind of strange there red it is. seal. It's got VB it's got on it. Numbers on both sides. We got this. We think it might be a, either scissors or a spectacle or something. If anyone knows what that is for sure. Got some muskets and some bucking balls here. You got some cool thingy majiggies here. It's got glass in it. We're not sure. Top to a bottle, maybe. Yeah, like a like a decanter top or something. We don't know. More modern key. That's this actually, is a, that's a Model T Ford. A resistor thingy. Is it? Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy if it was. Um, this is a fuse that says it has a patent date of 1911, so that's kind of cool. You got two matching D buckles. These are both from separate permissions. Big brother and little brother. This one, uh, this one was from here where we're at now, and this is from the last permission. And I uh, thought that was kind of neat. This, this is, uh, oh, go ahead. This odd, whatchamacallit here, we thought was a button at first. Kind of, yeah, but it looks a little too uh, modern. It looks too nicely made to be, you know, 1700s. Dangerous. Yeah. This is uh, the letter H. Letter H on a little printing block there. Yeah. Mm, Adam got this thing. I'm not sure what that is. It's got fancy all around the edge, some kind of top of some kind on something. I got three wheats. Oh, I got this weird thing. Oh, look at that little gear. It's got numbers all around the yeah, edge. We're not sure what that is either. I have to look that up. It's really strange. Archie just decapitated himself. Here's, uh, here's my horseshoe. Got a horseshoe today, too. Slid his finger on. Yeah, I cut my finger pretty You got this nice little two-piece button, we think, maybe there. Got another two-piece button here. Oh, this is weird front. It's a mystery item here. Got a keyhole. Little uh, toe ring, we think. Nine, mark 925. Uh, marble, musket ball, not sure what that thing is. It's got fancy all around the edge, if anyone knows what it is. Uh, it's got a 1902 Barber Dime, of course that it's not going like to focus. It's like a fancy talc dispenser or, uh, there it is. you know, like a talcum powder. 35 mm. Buffalo or, Nickel, uh, salt and pepper shake. of course yeah. it's not going to focus again. Some play money, uh, 1891 Indian, I think it said it was. Oh yeah, where's my play money? And, uh... A skeleton key. Where'd my plate one go? All right, guys, we'll get back to you. Jeffrey, Crocodile Jeffrey, sneaking up on the black snake here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's just a, like a black racer, yeah? I heard their bite hurts pretty bad. He's a big boy. Don't wake me, man. He's backing up. <laughs> All right, release. <laughs> All right, buddy. You have a good day, dude. Yeah. All right. Yep, it's a V for sure. Get a little live reveal here. See what the date is. There's the V side. I'll show you guys in a second. Here's the head side. 1899 V nickel. Wow, very impressive. Look, little man. Cool. See the lady's head in there? Suit, yeah. Attached to the root here. Looks like a pair of. 
Old earrings. If anyone knows, it's got two rings. Looks like a little handgun bullet, maybe a Colt. I don't know my uh, my bullets too well. If this is uh, it might be post-war. Very cool. Yeah.